Xiaomi are famous for their fitness trackers. They've made the fitness tracker affordable and available. Now it seems that the same fate awaits for the smartwatches and the color screen fitness trackers. My name is Dmitro Voloshin. I give you the AmazeFit smartwatch. The watch or rather the tracker watch looks modern and stylish. The body is perfectly round, only the strap holders protrude on the top and the bottom of it. These are the standard 22mm strap fittings and you can use any strap you want, either original MS fit straps, third party straps or any other watch strap that is 22mm wide. Around the screen there is a metal round frame, it's beautifully polished and looks quite fancy. The front is filled with a screen. It is round, but has a small cutoff piece at the bottom for antennas apparently, and there are a few antennas in this watch. The screen size is 1.34 inches in diameter, and the resolution is 320 by 320. The screen is quite large, it has a backlight, and the technology used for it is transflective. This means that you can still use backlight at night or dark indoors, but on a bright day or even under the direct sunlight, the backlight goes off rather than trying to fight the sun, and the transflective screen is perfectly visible under proper viewing angles, as if the data was printed on the screen. This looks better under direct sunlight than any other smartwatch. The transflective screen is a great idea. It might seem dull right of the box, but then you will appreciate it. It is well visible at night and perfectly visible at daytime. Thumbs up. It is a full color screen as well, which is better than the black and white pebble for example, and faster too. Looks better than the color e-ink as well. The screen is very usable and is also always on. It is well visible without backlight, so it doesn't drain the battery in any significant way. It is covered with a protective glass and from what I can tell it is not easily scratched. The battery life of this watch is then directly dependent on the screen technology used. This watch lasts much longer than any other smartwatch on a single charge. The proprietary operating system used seems to aid this as well. This way a small 280 mAh battery with moderate notifications and GPS turned off lasts for up to 12 days. This is great result. With active notifications it lives up to 5 days. Under maximum load with turned on GPS and Wi-Fi, constant heartbeat measurements and Bluetooth music it will last up to 35 hours. This means charging your watch once a week or even more rare than that, this is much more comfortable than daily charging of other smartwatches. The Amazfit smartwatch is built on a similar to other architecture. The dual core 1.2 GHz processor, 512 MB of RAM and 4 GB of flash memory but it is not the Android Wear, it is proprietary. This doesn't cripple the main smartwatch functions and with firmware updates the new features will be added or even app support eventually. This is first and foremost a fitness tracker, so the fitness functionality of the device is emphasized. It has a rather precise laser heartbeat sensor, its own GPS receiver to record tracks and movement when you run or ride a bike for example, a full-fledged compass is also available. The watch has IP67 water resistance, so you can shower with it or work out under heavy rain. I would rather not swim, let alone dive with it. Also here are the oldies but goldies, pedometer, gyro, accelerometer, etc. Wireless. A Bluetooth 4.0 low energy, Wi-Fi and onboard GPS GLONASS receiver. Bluetooth is obviously required to connect to your phone, but can also be used to directly connect the smartwatch to a stereo Bluetooth headset to listen to music. This can be done without the phone and the music is then stored on the 4 gigs of the internal memory of the watch. This is enough for even the longest runs and bike routes. The built-in Wi-Fi can update the firmware and upload the stats to the Mi account without the need for the smartphone connection, as well as play some internet radio. That's some cool stuff. You can also record your run, track or bike ride without using the phone. The built-in GPS is then used to record speed, route, elevation and all other GPS dependent stats. You can leave the phone at home and basically have everything you need in the watch. The screen brightness can be adjusted in three steps, or left automatic. The brightness is far from high, but is really plenty enough since you really need it only in the complete darkness. When there is any other light source, you don't need the backlight at all. The watch can display weather, this is another great feature it has. It is much more intuitive to look at your weather on a watch rather than a smartphone, somehow more natural, I have no idea why. Notifications. This is one of the most important things on a smartwatch. In the supplied app you can choose the apps that will push the notifications to your watch and the list is really unlimited. Any app installed can do it. The Android API is used so no additional support on the watch side is required. Anything in the notification tray can be displayed on the watch properly with app icon and everything. I used mail notifications, both Gmail and Ordinary, SMS, calls with ability to answer them or mute, Facebook and the Messenger, Viber, Whatsapp, really anything. 
Even the long messages arrive intact and are scrollable within. If you open the message or the notification on the phone though, it will disappear from the watch. The notifications immediately appear on the screen, plus the watch vibrates, which is handy. The calls notify with the long continuous vibration. The watch face can be changed either from the app or right on the watch itself. There is a night mode where you can turn all of the notifications and vibrations off, but sleeping stats and other sensors will still function. The watch is rather big but looks adequate even on a smaller hand. It doesn't look like a tech geek gadget, but rather looks like a slightly sporty fashion accessory, which it really is thus hitting the spot exactly. The watch weighs 53 grams, which is much more than 7 grams of the Mi Band 2, but really not more than any ordinary watch. The bands are made from an extremely pleasant silicone and look nice. There are a few colors already announced, and surely there will be a whole bunch of other bands introduced, both original and third party. Also, the mentioned 22mm standard strap fitting will fit any 22mm strap, and the watch design is universal enough to totally change the style and feel of the watch by changing just the strap. Original straps also have a convenient quick release and change system, so changing a bend is very easy indeed. From what I can tell, uh, soon you will be able to see this watch on many wrists. It doesn't have any obvious flaws and the proprietary platform doesn't harm it too much. It does all the useful smartwatch stuff. This was Dmitro Voloshin and the new Amazfit smartwatch. Till the next time!